Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I want to give you a heads up on what to look for when you're deciding on a magnifier to make solar ignition. It is not the power of the magnifier, 3 power, 5 power, 20 power. It is the physical size and you can easily understand that by me showing you these two Fresnel lenses. If I have if I have a hundred photons coming down through this side, this concentrated focal point is going to have a hundred photons in it. But if I use this bigger one and I have 5,000 photons coming down through this side, I'm going to have 5,000 photons in my concentrated focal point. Surely you can see that it's the physical side of a magnifier that matters most. I always put these ridges towards the sun and I see a bright spot right here on the ground so I'm going to make sure that that's where my leaves are at. Ridges towards the sun. How much easier would you want fire making to be? So let's go ahead and try the wall of Fresnel lens now. If this gets too smoky, we'll have to take it off the table. I bought this page magnifier at Staples about 10 years ago and it was about $10. I don't know what they sell for now. You can order these off Amazon. Let's solar ignite a few pieces of charred punk wood. All right, I can tell by the shadow that I'm right in the sun. So put these ridges towards the sun and it makes a big difference to have this oriented right. You do not want this smooth side towards the sun. And solar ignite your punk wood. I usually tell people to wear shades when doing solar experiments, but that ignites so quickly you really don't need them. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all, and do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Surely we can get them both to burn at the same time. We'll catch you on the next one.